we see this limit, and when we plug in 3 on top and bottom, we see that this has the form 0 over 0. Whenever you see a 0 over 0 form, what you want to do is algebra. In here, what we can do is multiply by the conjugate of the numerator, which is a square root of x plus 1 plus 2. We have to divide by the same thing so that our expression doesn't change. Now, in our next step, is multiply the things on the top. I'm going to apply difference of squares. Square root of x plus 1 squared is x plus 1 minus 2 squared, which is 4. On the bottom, we factor. x squared minus 2x minus 3 is x minus 3 times x plus 1. Now, remember, we still have that factor, a square root of x plus 1 plus 2. So we have to write it down. Now, it's the step of simplify x plus 1 minus 4 is x minus 3, and now we can cancel x minus 3 on top and bottom, and now our final step is just evaluate the limit by plugging in 3. So we have 1 over 3 plus 1, which is 4, divided by a square root of 3 plus 1 plus 2, which is also 4. So we have 1 over 4 times 4, which is 16. 1 over 16.